Okay, so in addition to keeping all the doors open, we have to talk like a narrator when we're inside the inside the building. <clears throat> As he entered the house, the first thing that came to Ghost Guy's mind was that the house was in complete darkness. He slowly entered the kitchen, surveying his surroundings and going to the rear room. The intel suggested that the fuse box was back here. Click went the fuse box. Ghost Guy turned around, thinking, Did anyone hear that? He took a moment, taking in his surroundings. Satisfied that he couldn't hear anything, he re-entered the kitchen, looking around once again, his honed ghost hunting instincts alerting him of any dangers along the way. The light, black, it came back on. The light was his shelter and he knew it. The living room. Perhaps this would hold the secret to the ghost. Odd boxes, a fan, magazines from ten years ago, and an oddly terrifying painting. While they were unsettling, they weren't enough to deter Ghost Guy on his hunt for the ghost. Frustration started to build in Ghost Guy's mind. Surely it wasn't this shy. Surely not. The odd squeak, the odd creak of a floorboard. And yet somehow, the ghost eluded him. The house now awash in life. Ghost Guy felt content. Safe, and yet alone. In his heart of hearts, he knew he wasn't alone. There was someone here watching him. Another creak, this time near the stairs. Ghost Guy knew that the only way to advance the investigation was to go up and see what awaited him. Turning the lights off as he went, he didn't want to destroy the fuse box, for surely it was at least a hundred years old. Reaching the top of the stairs, Ghost Guy heard a door open to his right, and then a footstep. Who's there? Ghost Guy said. He tried to put a brave face on for his viewers, but really, he was shaken. He entered the master bedroom to his right. Decayed and decrepit, floorboards covered in years of dust, the curtains hanging by a threadbare. <laughs> Click. The light switch turned on. Once again, a source of refuge ignited in the room. And there she was. He'd never seen anything like it. The body of a child. And yet the face? No, it couldn't be. Missing. How could that be? Sure, a ghost it was, but... How its face missing? Oh no. He'd had encounters like this before, but this felt wrong, off, evil even. As he entered the attic room, a chill, pimples up the back of his spine, and there he saw it, his breath frosted like steam, and he knew he'd found freezing. Carefully, he walked out of the room and made his way back towards the stairs.
ghost disappeared, he knew he was in for a serious and dangerous time. Finding his senses, he quickly found the exit and made his way back to the van. Okay, I'm going to drop the nar narrator voice while we're not in the house, because, um... Woo! That was an early hunt. That was well over 50% when it hunted. I think it's a demon. I think it's going to be a demon. It's got to be a demon. Holy cow. That was a terrifying ghost. As soon as we entered the room, it was just like, uh-uh, you're dead. You're gonna die now, boy. Very hefty sanity loss, though. Very hefty sanity loss. Demon Revenant, Yurei, Hantu, Shade Oni, Jin. It can only really be a demon or a Yurei. No, nothing else would have this kind of reaction. Okay, I'm going to go back in. Clutching his crucifix in his hand, Ghost Guy re-entered the haunted house. Upstairs he went. He don't know what drove him. Madness, was it? Curiosity? Probably money for feed pigs. A senseless need to satisfy the wills of chat. The ghost immediately started smashing doors against the wall. Ghost Guy retreated, making his way back to the van once more. Not satisfied, Chad. Chat. Chat. T. -t, -t. <laughs> oh, God, this is a spooky ghost. What the fuck? Why is our sanity so bad? You have to make redeem narrator voice. It's perfect. Well, thank you. I am sort of just making it up as I'm going along. <laughs> but I think it's kind of working. I think it's kind of working. Make it a redeem. Make it a redeem. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'll tell you what, just so I don't... Isn't it quite tiring for you? No, not really. I quite enjoy doing voices. Um, did someone say 45k redemption? <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Um... Just so I don't forget, someone stick it in my my suggestion box on the Discord. Okay, what have we got this time? UV light and a book. Yokai and you are talking a lot around it. It can't be a yokai. It can't be a yokai. I'm I'm pretty certain it's a demon. I'm pretty certain it's a demon. Okay. Re-entering the house, this time catching. wasn't letting up. It was determined to see the end of Ghost Guy, but he knew he had to push on. What madness took him this day, he never understood. But he knew at that point it had made it to where he was hiding. Curious, as he cast the UV light, he saw it. Fingerprints. It's a demon. Like, it's a demon. It's a demon. Hey, Glenn, how's it going, mate? 
noir narrator, maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's it's definitely a demon. It's definitely a demon. It hunted so early. It's also a really aggressive demon. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to survive this if we keep going in, if I'm honest. We're already at like 30% sanity. We're basically almost at a permahunt state at this point. Um, hopefully he's written in the book and I can just see the book and that'll be the end of it. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. We haven't got any cameras in there. I haven't got any cameras in there, Wonk. I need to take... Uh, I don't know if I can risk it. I kind of need a smudge. Uh, we need to just go and check the book. Smudge if it comes for me. Throw Jesus sticks at him. I'll do my best. Clutching the bundle of sage. He ran. himself to, he grabbed the sticks sage given to him by a priest for some reason the priest told him this would work perhaps the ghost had some sort of allergic reaction to them perhaps he just didn't like his greens but either way he knew this was his only chance it hadn't written in the book his worst nightmare His only hope now, to grab a camera and pray. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Someone spotted me saying that. Thank you, Catty. <laughs> I did say only chance. <laughs> oh, Mamma Mia. You are one angry ghost. Re-entering the house, this time with a candle. His contractor had been explicit. Get the ghost to blow out a candle. It didn't make sense. Strange request. the room. He only hoped that this time the ghost had left a sign. He wasn't sure what he'd done with the camera. In his panic he threw it away somewhere in the darkness. Where it was now he couldn't say. All he knew was he 
you have to get the book deeper in the room. Placing the camera on the ground, he picked up the sage once again. He made his way back to the door. Down the stairs he went, panic making him clutch the sticks so tight they might break. All right, back to the van. I'm not narrating during a hunt. That's madness. We're not doing that. <laughs> we would just die instantly. Has it blown out the candle? It has. And we prevented the hunt with a crucifix. I mean, everyone's pretty satisfied that this is a demon, right? Hey, Mizar. Hello there. Hmm. Thank you, Radioactive. Sorry. I had a mouthful of lovely coffee. I can't even see. Damn it. Please just write in the book. I mean, do I really need to wait for the book? We're pretty confident it's a demon, right? We're pretty confident it's a demon. Are you drinking coffee this time of night? You know what some people are like? Some people just aren't affected by caffeine that well. It's not orbs. Oh yeah, I mean, it's a demon, isn't it? Let's be honest. I thought we already had writing and I was that confident. We haven't. You know what it's like with writing. Even with a ghost as active as this, sometimes they just want to wait 20 minutes. Does it hurt your throat to do that voice? No. Hey, Riles, how's it going? All right, we're going to have to check the book. It might have written in it as we're walking out. We don't know. <gasps> it's writing in it now. It's writing in it right now. Look. <coughs> well, that, my friends, is that. I'm not sure we risk the last part because we're not allowed to shut doors and it's a demon. Demon Angie. I think we've done well. This has been a very aggressive ghost. Very, very aggressive. Uh, I'll never forget the Asylum Gin. Oh, man. We've had some crazy ghosts on Asylum. Um, we've had Asylum Gin. Asylum Oni was crazy. The Asylum Spirit. Now, that one was nuts. Because it was downstairs, but when it hunted, it just like teleported upstairs in between us and the exit. And everyone was like, oh, that's got to be a wraith. It has to be a wraith. I've got some jobs ready for you. 